different from galvanic cell. Now let's look at uh, electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. So we are still based on the electrochemical cell that contains zinc metal, copper metal inserted into electrolyte solution that contains zinc chloride and copper chloride with membrane sub separates the two chambers from the zinc chamber from the copper chamber but now different from electrolytic cell we are applying a external potential through a external power supply in the reverse direction in the reverse direction with value greater than the equilibrium cell potential for the natural equilibrium cell potential for the zinc copper galvanic cell okay so you are applying a external voltage in the reverse direction which means the electron trying to flow out from the negative electrode trying to come into the zinc while the copper the electron are is drawn from the copper so this is achieved by applying another external power supply in reverse direction connected to the original electrochemical cell and uh, the external potential absolute value applied should be larger than the equilibrium cell potential for the natural galvanic cell so under this condition you would realize that the cell current will be reversed so instead of electron flowing out from zinc to copper now we are drawing out electron from copper pump it into the zinc in this case the overall electrochemical reaction would proceed in the read yourself reverse direction which means on the zinc electrode instead of zinc losing an uh, electron to become zinc ion now the zinc ion in the solution will be combined with electrons from the electrode and form zero valence zinc metal and got deposited onto the zinc metal of course here we assume there's no air in the solution and also the zinc concentration is much much higher than the proton concentration okay on the other copper electrode instead of copper ion being reduced now because we are drawing out electron then the copper metal atom would uh, release electron and the form copper ion that got dissolved into the solution and that electron drawn out is pumped through the power supply and injected into the zinc uh, electrode that's why we say the overall electrochemical reaction would proceed in the reverse direction okay and such an electrochemical cell would be called electrolytic cell electrolytic cell okay and you will notice that in this case we are spending electrical energy we are consuming electrical energy from the external power supply and uh, get the electric part of the electrical energy stored as chemical energy as chemical energy in the form of deposited extra deposited zinc metal on the zinc electrode okay so this is an electrolytic cell and uh, people would encounter such electrolytic cell when they charge batteries or when people use electrolytic production of chemicals such as uh, chlorine and hydrogen as well as electrolytic production of metals such as uh, aluminum okay so this is electrolytic cell it is in terms of reaction reverse of the um, galvanic cell and if we know i represent the net current flowing through the electrolytic cell again in this case electron flows from copper to zinc which means the actual current 
from flow from zinc to copper. In this case, based on Ohm's law that relates current, voltage, and resistance, as well as the addition of potential for an closed circuit, then from physics we know that the applied potential, the applied potential, which is uh, here, would be equal to the equilibrium cell potential for the galvanic cell plus the current times internal resistance for this electrochemical cell. Okay, so essentially what we are saying is the applied voltage would be equal to the summation of two parts. One part is the natural equilibrium cell potential for the system when it's in galvanic mode and plus the current times the internal cell resistance. Okay, so these together give us the required applied potential. And of course, if you would like higher current, you have to apply the greater and greater applied voltage.